Hello everyone and welcome back to the Feed the Steve server. In the last episode I went over a few things, sorted out my storage and moved it all over there. I don't know if I've shown you the groups that I've done, so I'm just going to go over them quickly right now. We have ingots and metals in the first one with the crystal chest, which kind of looks funky. Look at all that. Mm. Stacks galore. So that's containing all our redstone and our ingots basically in metals a couple of rubies so it's you know it's got some stuff in it obsidian uh it's, we've also got our dusts and ores and i'll go into those in a minute because we'll be doing some things with those quite soon which is why i've set the pulverizers and redstone furnace up a bit differently and then we have stone blocks for things like cobblestone and normal stone and moss stone and netherrack and stone bricks oh the stone bricks are in the wrong one the slab is fine in there um, concrete, yeah, that can go in there, that's just fine. So, stone bricks go in the bricks section. How silly of me. So then I have wood blocks for all your other things that aren't oak wood, so that's fine. And then miscellaneous blocks like ice and glass and wool and pistons. So basically everything else that isn't one of these. And then, of course, over here we have the mod-specific chests. So we have thermal expansion, which doesn't have too much in at the moment, but, you know... I don't think these will ever have that much because, yeah, I'm, you, you know, it's just one of those things. It doesn't fill up that quickly, but industrial craft might. Eventually, anyway. Uh, just all my industrial craft stuff, my forestry stuff, which I haven't really gotten into because this is all nicked um, from either tinkers or, no, not tinkers, either like villagers uh, or I think. Yeah, I think it was all from a villager, actually. Okay. And then some thumbcraft. And thumbcraft could do with a bigger chest because it's taking up quite a lot. I might want to use a filing cabinet for some of these things. I have no idea what any of this does. I have two wands that I found slash stole. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so, oh my god. Okay. So yeah, I'll get into Thumbcraft a little bit later on. It does look cool, but it looks really complicated and it's a huge ass mod. So I'll make a separate base and get into that a bit later on. And then seeds and some saplings, foodstuffs, and miscellaneous, which is a diamond chest because there's a lot of miscellaneous items. Um, hmm, I didn't realize I had more of these in here. So, I better go downstairs and show you what I've done with them before I start on the sorting system. In this area, I've set up my Orberry farm. So it has to be dark, let me get my sword out just in case. I've set it to an iron door so no mobs can break out. And it's, there's a creeper. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> okay, see how dangerous it is? Creepers and stuff can spawn in there, but they have to be dark in order... That was weird. Okay, I think he fell in the orberry thing. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Uh, let's open this. Where's he gone? Where? Oh, he's over there. Come to me, my pretty. Oh, okay. Just keep running. There we go. And another one. I'm getting, I'm getting a bit of latency on this and I don't like it. I don't know why, but every time I do stuff on the server, so if I just drop something, it, it yeah, it's there's a bit of lag and it might be my internet, it might be the server, I'm not sure. Um, but it's something I'm going to have to deal with in the meantime. Hopefully I don't plan on doing much fighting today. So let me just put a torch down just to make the room a little bit lighter. So down here I have my farm. I don't know why this block's not grown. It's... Let me replant it. Can I replant... Uh, oh. I mean, please grow. I mean, the, the rest are grown just fine, and you're just being silly. So that's all the aluminium I need. I think I've got two shelves of it, and I can right-click, harvest them all. It's awesome, and I'm not going to get hurt by them if I walk in between them. So it's kind of a similar setup that I had to my HQ. And or tin, or berry, that's copper, and this is tin, so if I can put these two down, I've almost completed my first row of these, which is nice. Once I've got two, I don't think I need any more. Oh, that one's just grown, and so has that, and so has that. I don't think the light is too much of an issue. If I just put a torch over here, hopefully it will still grow, because it's dark over there. If I press F7, you can see stuff can still spawn all the way over here. So I'm assuming that's dark enough and I need to get a window or something so I can see in without uh, being, you know, a, just so I know what's in there. I can do some Qcraft stuff to make some awesome windows, but I'll go into that later. So I have an iron ore berry bush as well, but these are for copper. So let's put my coppers down. So, no, this is tin. Whoopsie. 
So I put my coppers down. Thank you very much. Copper, copper. And then I can start on the next row. Okay then, so on to the storage. Okay then, so the plan is I need to get rid of these. And I'm going to put them downstairs into in the in the basement, basically. So it's going to be nice and clean up here. There'll be very few machines. Uh, I don't really need these stuff. This stuff here. I, I do kind of like this being here. I might set this up um, as an independent system later on, or have stuff that's not connected to everything, just so I can you know micromanage, I guess, instead of having to do it all with pipes. But for now, I need to tear everything out. But before I do that, I actually want to go into Tinkers and make a new axle because this one's a bit balls really um i think the reason why it is is because i used a okay so mining wood is fine because it's got an alamite um axe head but the shovel head is made from obsidian and i don't think that's a very good material to use for digging so i'm not sure that's just a guess so in order to make the thingy jid i think it's a matlock uh, it was called you need a axe head a shovel and a tool rod so it's not very expensive but it is at the same time so what can we make this out of uh, we're not going to make it out of manulin that's just silly um, cobalt and ardite let's just have a look at some materials so obsidian's out of the question it's um, got really crap durability it does add reinforced which is nice so I might make a tool rod out of it or a handle modifier actually no it'll be a bad modifier as well it's just a bad it's just a bad thing to make a handle out of netherrack it has a good handle modifier good durability so that will be a good thing to make a tool rod out of um i could use slimes but i'm not really you know too bothered about having this last i guess oh, poor ben <laughs> oh dear he's he's pretty new to the server but he's he's works quite hard and he's just dying in the nether so hard so what to make the other stuff out of i'm pour this out and we get an Ardite head. So hopefully this will be a little bit better. If it doesn't work, then I've just wasted some materials. So I would be very upset. So let's get the matlock. So netherrack with the Ardite. And where is the food for that? There we go. So matlock with two stone mound, apparently. Can't remember what from. Uh, I think that gives you stone bound. I don't know what else gives you stone bound. Hmm. Okay, so it's reinforced two, which is fine. Mining speeds, 11 and 11. I hope that's good. I can hear a mini zombie. Ah, oh, it's above me. Okay, so I'm just going to sleep before I do this, just because I hate the zombies. Because <laughs> I can hear them outside. It's really annoying. Okay, then. So, the map lock... Okay, so it's already got it programmed in, and what can we call this thing? Uh, the hack lot, I guess. Uh, yeah, hack lot, why not? Just for fun. So we'll see how fast this one is compared to the axle. God, this is an angry zombie. He might have spawned downstairs in... Come on, go down. There we go. He might have spawned downstairs in here. Nope, okay. So now to test. So we've got two tests. First off, god damn zombies. We have the axle test with the gravel, which is pretty slow, you can say. As you can see, it's really annoying, but it does dirt fantastically. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good at getting dirt. So now we have that. Let's try the, uh, the hack lot. So that's even quicker at dirt, and I hope it'll be even quicker at gravel. It's not. What is wrong with this thing? <laughs> oh my god, so I've just wasted a lot just because... Yeah. Okay then, so now to start on our sorting system, and in order to do that I needed a few materials, uh, because I wanted to use these... Uh, I didn't want to use Invar, I wanted to use item ducks. Actual ducks, not ducks. Okay, it's an actual ducks, an item duck. So I wanted to use these, but they required hardened glass, which required obsidian dust, and you only get like a little bit with lead ingot. And I don't have a lot of obsidian. I have one, and I need to put that in here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to, in order to do that, 
in order to get obsidian easily, I think I'm I wanted to get a terrain smasher, which is that's the wrong button. So So the terrain smasher, I need an invar pickaxe, some tin, and a piston, and a pneumatic servo. It's not really hard to make, it's just the invar is a bit of a pain. And the invar's not too difficult to make. Um, the only reason why I couldn't make it before is because I had these things on auto smelt. So they would go into the pulverizer and then get smelted automatically. And I needed to keep that in order to make the blend. So I think invar was made... How do you make invar? I think it was two iron. Where's my iron? So two iron and one nickel slash ferrous. So let me see. So two iron and one ferrous. That makes invar blend. Yay, and you get three. So that's not bad. I also have three more here. So let's get six. And pulverizer. No, I don't need to put that in there. I need to put that into the redstone furnace. And, then, and now I need to activate it with a redstone signal. So where's my redstone torches? I'll just use a lever. It's probably easier for now. So if I just pop that there, turns that on, and I should get some invar ingots. And they'll go automatically into this chest. Also, the other thing that I needed was electrum. So you can see I have uh, some electrum blend here. And I believe that is made with another cocktail of random things. So I need my pulverized ferrous. And what else did I need? I cannot remember. I think it was silver, actually. No. Uh, I don't need ferrous. I think it was silver. And... Gold? Was it silver and gold? Yes, it was. Okay, so it's silver and gold. So I'm going to make a, um, a few more of these. Three will do. Because I don't have that much gold dust at the moment and put these all back. So now I have a good amount of electron blend. I'm going to need that redstone torch in order to turn these on. This might be a long winded episode and getting a bit, you know, distracted from the point of electron blend. Do that. Uh, from the point of my <laughs> sorting system, but you know, it's a means to an end. I've got, I've got to collect the resources and I didn't want to do this off camera. So I have invar ingots and now all I have to do is make an invar pickaxe. And there we go. My first invar pickaxe, which is, I don't know, slightly above iron. I think it's not quite diamond level. I have no idea. It's just a pickaxe. <laughs> it's not really anything special. Put my axle away. Keep these on me. Put the powder away as well. So what else did I need? I needed a pneumatic servo. Uh, which mod pack was that from? I think it was from Thermal Expansion. Do I have one? I don't think I did. So let me go. Terrain Smasher, Pneumatic Surfer from Thermal Expansion. I don't actually have one at the moment, but I've got a piston. I can get some tin, so all I need to do is make this. So I need redstone, iron, and glass. So, redstone, iron, and miscellaneous blocks, glass, and a piston. Now I should be able to make my pneumatic servo, pop that in there. So uh, I'm going to need quite a few of these and I might as well use up all of the redstone I've got. So I'm going to make nine of those because I'm going to need those later. I'm going to pop uh, the rest in there. Six, five, two, one. Oh, if you want to do what I just did, uh, you just use the scroll wheel and you transfer things uh, one at a time through inventories. It's pretty cool. So let me put my piston back. I don't need that anymore. And Invar can go in here as well. So now the Terrain Smasher. So I believe I have everything apart from tin. Tin, 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 tin. Tin, tin. There's some tin. Uh, oh, no. I needed the... <laughs> I needed the piston. Whoops. Piston, servo. Tin. In, in our pickaxe. 
There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't do that for me a second ago, but oh well, what are you going to do? Put these back. So now I have a Terrain Smasher, and this is a genuinely epic um, item. And the reason why it's epic is because it can mine anything. It, it It's just awesome. And it can do it in like a, a tiny fraction of a second. I mean, I can mine Obsidian pretty fast with my pick of Destiny, but this can just do it faster and I don't have to move around and be worried about lava, I think. So I'm going to need a bucket. Where's my bucket? Miscellaneous items over there. I've got a bucket of water. And let's take another bucket for lava. Let's put this down. The, actually, we'll keep those on me. Um, I'm going to need power as well to supply it. So that's easy enough. I can just grab coal from here. Yeah, 15 coal. And, I, and then I can just head downstairs. Wood. And grab this thing. And of course, hmm, to supply water with it. Oh, I can supply water with it with just a bucket. Okay, so picking or mining obsidian with a pick with a, a hasting down here, it's it's pretty quick. I mean, you know, I almost lost that obsidian there, but there's lava underneath it. And that's a problem because it's dangerous. And you know, it's just it's dangerous down here anyway. But I don't need this making it even more difficult for me. So let's pop down the uh, chest, put the apple and terrain smasher and the dynamo. So let's put the terrain smasher. Where can I put that? I need to make a little hole for it in order to work. So if I put the terrain smasher there. It should be smashing this. Uh, is it automatically smashing? Let's put a gravel block down. Yep, it's automatic. Oh, so I don't need to power it. That's peculiar. I thought I had to power this thing. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, then. So I didn't need to make this, um, or do anything with the steam dynamo, which is fine by me. Um, configuration output is at the back. I hope that's the output. Yeah, I guess it's the output. So let's put chest here. And will anything I mine, so let's test it with this wood block. And it's in there. Hey, okay. So now I believe in order to do this correctly, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what? The, what just happened? <laughs> it just okay. It mined. It mined the laugh. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, that should be enough. Um. Get the cobble next. So if I put cobble there, there, will this behave? Okay, so that's there. Get rid of this obsidian here. Actually, okay, so that's water there. Um, quickly mine this stuff. Okay, then. So now I just get my bucket, and if this works the way I want it to. Turns in, yeah. So that's how I want it to work. You need to have this kind of in the right spot. So it is possible to mine obsidian of this way, and it's a lot quicker than just using a just a pick and then doing it the uh, the classic way. Swipe and that, and now I've got five. I can just keep putting lava down here. I can take this wherever I want to go and just mine obsidian really, really quickly. The only problem is now I've got to get to this. Alrighty then, in order to make all the hardened glass, we need to put this through a pulverizer. So, let us pulverize half of the obsidian, and we can put the rest in here. Because from each stack, I think you get... Yeah, you get four pulverized obsidian from each stack. So, this is going to work out great for me. I've still got a... Oh, I need to get rid of that. I don't think it goes into there anyway, but I just need to make sure I'm not going to do anything stupid with the obsidian. So, 12, 16, yep, it's not going into the, the furnace anyway, so. Okay, that's done, and that's done. So, good 56. 
Okay, so in order to make hardened glass, I realized I needed an induction smelter. So I went ahead and made one. So let me just go to induction. And it's not too expensive. Redstone reception coil, really easy. Already had one stored. Copper gears, really easy. Had all the stuff. Um, you know, Invar already had that, obviously, a bucket and a machine frame, which is still as cheap. I, d I realized it didn't have to use steel, which is what I've been using and I'm really low on. We'll get around to making more of that later, but I could have just used iron instead. So I've been using the really expensive machine frames, which is probably why I was getting so mad. Like, is this so expensive? But no, it's not really. So it's pretty simple to make an induction smelter. I've hooked it up to my battery here, although I do need to keep the power topped up. Just make sure that's got enough water. It should be fine. But the internal buffer's uh, gone okay. So I don't think that starts doing like, do, like doing it as is. But I believe you, in order to make hardened glass, you need that and lead. So, so let's go to item duct. So you need hardened glass, which is obsidian dust and a lead ingot. So obsidian dust is in there or pulver pulverized obsidian let's put that in the right one and of course the lead ingots in there so hopefully that will make hardened glass and it should be pushed out into this yay so we're going to leave that going we're going to make some hardened glass and then of course we need more lead well no we need tin sorry to make the actual item ducts so we should have enough we're going to have way more than we need and this is going to be really really handy for sorting out all of our sorting system Wow, I used sorting quite a lot, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so 14 hardened glass. Um, obviously, I didn't get that much out of it just because it takes eight, uh, I believe. So yes, it takes eight obsidian dust. So it's rather expensive, but 14 should be enough. I kind of forgot that it takes eight. Anyways, let's get the tin. I uh, put the lead back. I do have plenty of tin somewhere. It's just hard to bloody find. It all looks the same. Tin, okay. So tin is pretty easy. All of the things are really easy. So we have a stack in a bit. So I don't think we're going to be using all of this. We might. I mean, I might get unlucky and I might um just be you know underestimating how expensive this is actually going to be but oh well if i do that shit happens just zombies above me god i hate that so much okay then so now in order to make this let's so have we got rid of all of this yes okay i want to take those And then I'll need to be sorting out my entire system. So this is... Okay, I'm going to sleep as well. Because he wants to sleep. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be one of those weird episodes where it's going to be a lot of cuts and everything's dying. Oh god, the, the horror. <laughs> so hmm, I'm just going to think take things apart and then you you can just have a quick I don't know montage of me setting stuff up I think I don't know how I'm gonna do this all I know is I'm gonna need these pneumatic servos I think I might even need more of them <laughs> 